all the weapons there and of course if i get platinum cam on on 51 guns like if i get pl platinum challenges done on 51 guns then i get it looked like it looked like they spilled it looked like they spilled like all of those molt, like weapons. like like and melted gold on the gun that's what it looks like to me <laughs> weapons, then I like they like they Ryan like they spilled it on the gun and no he just let it drip down because the challenge was getting the rest of these camos so it's really cool how the the whole system works just wanted to say if you've been enjoying this video so far and if you enjoyed the camo unlock progression explanation that i just did there make sure you guys drop a like in the video so what's the rest of do the challenge and then i'll have it on the m4 or any gun that i want did you did you explain this 800 times is that what just happened here Yo, I was going off on this on this uh this video because Linus Linus pissed me off, yo. He he made me mad, bro. He he <laughs> he he did a review on the Azeron, right? And he was like, "I got to try it." And instead of trying it himself, he paid somebody else to do it, which, you know, somebody else that works for him or whatever. But the person that no apparently nobody in the office wanted to use the Azeron no one how does no, like so no one wanted to even like give it a shot and be like you know what yeah like give it to him for free take home for a month play some video games with it and then, and then give me a report on it you know after a month and then they ended up taking it for two months he used it for two months and and just couldn't do anything like he just he couldn't get used to using it he didn't have i i, I assume he did not have an open mind about using it he probably dreaded every second of him trying to use it he went to go play Valorant with it. They said he he played one match of Valorant and then just never played any more matches. He quit halfway through or whatever. Didn't even use it for Valorant anymore because he just like, oh, I can't press A and D at the same time. I... Then he played two single player games that did not take advantage of having to use the Azeron and all the buttons that it has I guarantee most of the time he probably he played Resident Evil he played Resident Evil which you you for 90 percent of the time you're literally walking you're holding W so you're just holding forward on a joystick and then and then you press and then you press like F or whatever your interact button is to pick stuff up like that's or open a door and then you fire your gun at at enemies I you don't what did you use the Azeron for Resident Evil for to test it out for a month, two months? Like, I, oh my God, like, I don't know. I don't know. And then he did a, and then he did a review based on what the guy said at the end of two months and then not, not having any experience with it, just basically told people that they couldn't, they couldn't do this or couldn't do that, or it's really bad for this, really bad for that. And I'm like, who is this review for? And he told people that they could not play Valorant. He was like, yeah, he just couldn't play Valorant. You can't really play Valorant or any other competitive shooter with the Azeron. Because you can't hold A and D at the same time. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Um... I'm gonna level this gun up. I actually prefer well, whatever. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not me. Slimline Pro. Well, oh, there are way more sites than I thought. Well, goddamn. Yo. It's so many sites.
X10 grip recoil control. Handling. Yo, Mook, what is what is what is handling? Like what the, what is it actually what does handling actually mean? Like just like like equip speed? Is that is that what it is? Uh handling accuracy. We've got skins for the grips. Oh, we got skins for all the attachments. An infinity ward stack. <laughs> Damage. ADS speed, hip walking speed, ADS speed, speed, getting outside speed. In and out sight speed. No. Medium sniper glint. Very small sniper glint. They all use the forge tech delta on the the other gun. Shark will let you click it and tell you exactly what it is and what it affects. See, ammunition, muzzle, horizontal recoil control, vertical recoil control, aim down sight speed, damage range. Sound suppression, recoil, smoothness. Stock. I think once you get all the attachments or some shit, you can tune a specific attachment in the direction you want it. Something like that. Accuracy, recoil control, accuracy. Oh, oh. Little hints of color. Tower 20 handling mobility is lowered. Aim down sight speed, movement speed, hip, hip recoil control. Okay, I'm just gonna try it anyway. Let me see what it looks like. Uh, what do I gotta take off? What am I gonna take off?
Can I, can I punch somebody? Tier one indoor shooting range. Stand back there. The guy back there. Somebody just back there. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this setup. Do I know what I'm doing? No, not at all. Playable cover. Do I want to play with cover? Absolutely not. Um, portable radar. Seems like a good choice. Cluster mine. I've been getting SAE. Seven kills. Sentry gun. I don't have an unlock yet. This unlocks at level 26. He told us uh, eight kills, right? Score streaks. 